Hey guys, welcome back to another plan with me. This week I'm planning from August 28th to September 3rd and I'm using this glam planner kit called Cleaning Spree and as you can tell from me flipping through everything, I did treat myself to the full kit. I just really loved this artwork and I believe it's exclusive art. And for whatever reason, her smaller kits just don't work for me. It's either all or nothing, which is a big reason why I very rarely purchase from Glam Planner because it's just, it gets pricey getting all the full kits, but I just said, screw it. I'm, I've been in a very like spendy mood, just it is what it is for right now. Um, I'm toying around with doing a no spend in November, at least as far as like stickers go, but um, we'll see. We'll see. I might change my mind. Again, I'm just very much in the mode of like, I hate my job, so let's spend the money that I'm making, you know, to make my life better. Like, let me see the benefits of me hating this job. Does that make sense? Also, sorry if you can hear all of the noise outside. I'm filming this on my break, and um, so it's like 1.30 in the afternoon, and there's I live on a busy street, so it's just a very loud time right now, but that's neither here nor there. Let's get into this week. So... If you watched my kit lineup, you will see that this is not the kit I had slotted for this week, but I did mention that if a certain kit came in time, it was going to be swapped out. That was this kit. Um, now, looking back, there were many weeks I could have used this artwork for just because to me, it gives that like trying to get your life together vibe. So this probably would have been perfect for um, actually last week <laughs> or this week, one of them because I got back from my business trip and really had to just like get my life together. I had no groceries. I had to do laundry, like the whole thing. So looking back, I sort of wish I had saved this, but it also works for this week because not only was this the week before I was leaving the country, so I had a lot of like packing to do and laundry to do. I had to do all my laundry before I left, but also there was yet another leak in our apartment that I had to clean up. So it still works. I'm still not mad at it. And I love how the spread turned out. So as far as like things that happened this week, um, like I mentioned, there was a leak. And if you saw my previously, my previously, my previous plan with me, you'll see that before my roommate and I went to go see fallout boy, um, there was a leak in our laundry area and our landlord sort of concluded that it was the AC unit. So this meant that we did not have AC for a few days. And I don't even know if you can call it a heat wave. It's just been 90 essentially all summer. So that was like not amazing, especially because the windows in my bedroom don't really open very easily. And I also, I, I, I have the warmest room. It has the highest ceilings. It has the most windows. It just gets very hot in here. Um, so I was sort of dying. And yeah, just getting like super sweat. It was just not, it was just not ideal. And then we found out that it wasn't even our AC unit that was leaking. My roommate and I came back home on Saturday after going to Walmart. And I noticed that one of the AC units is just like dripping water down the side of the outside of the building. We get into our unit and once again, the entire laundry area, which unfortunately is also where we keep our litter box, is soaked. It's just the whole floor is a big puddle of water. There's tons of water dripping from the ceiling. It's dirty. It's gross. Um, there's little bits of like insulation falling with the water. It's just a whole ass mess. And so then I run back outside because I'm like, that's not our floor. And turns out that the whole time it was our upstairs neighbors. We got new upstairs neighbors and their AC unit was leaking. And the thing that's so weird is it stopped when we turned ours off, which is why we thought it was our unit. Um, and then I guess they didn't use their AC all week because we hadn't had a leak since the previous Saturday. So they only used their AC from on Saturday and then the next Saturday, which is very strange. But either way, we ran upstairs, we knocked on the um, other new neighbors, 
because we don't know who, like the number to the people, it doesn't matter. There's three units in the building, whatever. We figured it out and they were able to turn it off. And it was just such a relief that we didn't have to have any more workers in our apartment Um, because I just did not want to deal with that. But it was like, it was really frustrating because I had just mopped from the leak uh, last week and I cleaned the mop head because I was like, okay, the floors are clean. Everything's done. I'm going to put this away. And then everything got destroyed. So that was a slap to the face. Um, yeah, that was just a big thing. But again, all's well that ends well. It wasn't our unit, um, which also means that I was sweating for days for no reason. Uh, and yeah, I don't know. It is what it is. Other things that happened this week were mm, not that important. I went to the office on a Friday instead of Monday just because my boss needed the office to herself which honestly turned out great because she was gone on Friday so I like went in in the morning and then just walked home on my break and finished the day from work I got the mail it was fine it was whatever and I was like you know what I'm about to be in this bitch for three days a week I'm 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 just gonna do a half day here and finish at home if someone has a problem with it they can fire me I I I don't care I'm miserable so that is what I did um We had um, our landlord, an electrician, an AC guy in our unit. Again, I mopped all of the floors in the entire apartment just because they're walking around with their gross-ass work boots pissing me off. Um, And yeah, that, that was like the main thing. Other than that, it was just me getting ready to go on this trip and just getting some things off of my list. So anyway, let's just get into the day by day. Starting with Monday, the first thing I marked was that I worked from Joe's place um, because I didn't have to go into the office. I got to sleep in for a little bit, which was really nice, about like an extra hour and a half, which is just, it's honestly more than nice. It's glorious, completely makes like such a huge difference in my life. So that was cool. And this little house is just left over from a kit. I can't remember the shop at the moment. Then with a little shoe from this kit, I marked that I ran on my break and I did an outside run, which if you know, those are harder and I was able to complete it without any stopping or whatever. So that was cool. Then under that, I marked with this nauseous munchkin from once more with love that after work, I still took a nap, whatever. Um, and I ended up overheating really badly during my nap. I took it under like a huge like duvet and um, I woke up just feeling really really sick to my stomach just from getting too overheated and then Joe came back from his soccer game and he had like a coupon for a free meal from Raising Cane's I had already eaten but I still went with him to keep him company and then we were going to go to shop right afterwards because um, I if you saw my last plan with me I never got my my items from ShopRite because I got violently, not violently, that's an exaggeration, but like I got sick on Sunday night. So um, we had to postpone the, um, the food store. But, oh, this is something I did forget to mention uh, while I was laying the base down. While we were in Raising Cane's, um, Joe's car was vandalized. Some guy and a security guard saw it happen. Some guy just got out of a random vehicle, walked up to Joe's, it was his work car too, it's like a little smart car, walked up to Joe's car and smashed both rear view mirrors off the side and just threw them in the middle of the road. Fortunately, I don't even know if you say fortunately, but the security guard ended up picking them up from out, um, from in the road and put them on the sidewalk so if they're salvageable they wouldn't get smashed but just welcome to philly random people just destroying your car for no reason and then racing off and never getting caught this guy will never get caught even though there's a million cameras the police will not do a thing about it it just it is what it is um oh and before that i did mark that i had a little bit of root beer at raising canes which was exciting because that's my favorite soda and i just don't drink it a lot because it's so bad for you and then we still went to ShopRite, even though that whole thing happened. Um, he was still willing to go after we filed the police report. So I marked that with this little sticky perks bag. Also, the little emoji, the angry emoji in the car is from the Coffee Monsters Co. Then went with a once more with love munchkin in this little panda onesie. I marked that I had insomnia. 
Moving on to Tuesday, the first thing I marked was that I was just so tired. I like was having fantasies of quitting. You know, you know those mornings where you're so tired, you're like, I really could just sleep and turn off my phone and not answer anyone. But of course, I didn't do that. Um, these are both from Once More With Love. So under that, I just I marked that I worked and I used this little sleeping cat sticker just because that's how I felt. Then under that, with this um, sweating munchkin, I marked that there was no AC all day and all night. It was it was pretty grueling, especially at night, because um, I can't sleep without covers on. I just won't fall asleep. I don't feel secure. So <clears throat> I was just stuck between sweating all night and I, I don't know, it just wasn't good, but I just, I marked both day and night in one go just to save some space. Under that, I marked that my old boss texted me, which made me feel so good because this family that I nannied for, I truly do like love them. I care about them so much, but I don't want to be that creepy nanny that like reaches out like, hey, I miss you guys, you know, like very like single white female. Um, but she reached out to me and she was like, oh, you guys have to come back and see the house at some point. We should like you know, have dinner or something. And I was like, that's just, that just made me so happy. Um, and she like confirmed that she would love for me to reach out and it's not weird or creepy at all. So that made me feel really good. So I finally got to use one of these like happy munchkins for once. That's rare in my planner. Then I did a workout and I just used the scale from the kit to mark that. I had a coupon for buy one, get one free sandwiches from Potbelly. So um, Joe and I went to Potbelly and I just used an emoji, emoji to mark that. Um, and then he had to buy one, get one free from Cold Stone. That was a whole thing. It ended up expiring, but we still went because I had a gift card from my old boss, actually, um, still. So we went, and it was the worst Cold Stone I'd ever had in my life. I just feel like when something's that expensive, it better be good. And it was essentially like plain ice cream with one giant Reese's peanut butter cup that they did not smash up, just like in it. It was not it was, it was very underwhelming. And then the final thing for Tuesday was that we watched the challenge and this laptop is from SPC. The little ice cream, I believe is Piper Paper Company. Pretty much any mini item that I use is Piper Paper Company. Moving on to Wednesday, the first thing I marked with an icon from the kit was that I worked. Then this day, we just had so many people coming in. Our landlord came in because he wanted to I don't know, look again at the things that he can't fix himself. I'm not sure. Um, and then an electrician came. Uh, it turns out that we thought that something happened to the outlets because of all the water because they just like tur turned off. And my roommate and landlord had both tried to just do like the circuit breaker and it wasn't working. So our landlord hired an electrician. All along it was the circuit breaker and I'm kicking myself for not having tried myself because... Um, I'm, I'm just better at that type of thing than my landlord. So I should have I should have checked it, but who cares? It's not money out of our park, pocket, so whatever. But it was annoying that the electrician came. And then later on that day, the AC guys came. Uh, and they were like, yeah, there's nothing wrong with your unit. It just leaks like that a lot if you don't keep it at the same temperature, which is bullshit because it wasn't our unit anyway. So and we even told the guys, we're like, it's we haven't had it on for like, a week so why was it leaking again I, I don't know it was just a whole thing but whatever so that was annoying um and I just marked all of that with an emoji then with this bad day munchkin I marked that I was feeling extra extra stressed just between all of the workers in my space getting everything dirty and I also had to have like a little meeting with my boss later that day so that was making me sick then I got a package from Old Navy. I ended up returning everything. Everything was disgusting. But um, this specific thing, <laughs> they sent me a used sweater. Like 1,000%, this thing had been worn and washed and returned. It had pieces of elastic like pulled out of it, just like dangling. It was covered in like little sweater pills. It was, I was so annoyed. Um, yeah just gross so you better believe that got returned um then I had the meeting with my boss and these both these stickers are from the coffee monsters co we just had a meeting about the trip to Prague and it was not a big deal um so that was good we had to meet because we had to give a presentation and I do not do public speaking so it was a thing but it's fine 
Then under that with, I believe this is an SPC sticker as well, this little broom and dust pan. I didn't sweep though. I, I'm, I marked mopping and um, vacuuming, not in that order. Under that with a Once More With Love munchkin, I marked that I watched the 90s Romeo and Juliet. I hadn't seen it since I was a freshman in high school and I hated it at the time. And now that I'm older, I was able to appreciate it way more, except for the fact that like Romeo is such a douche, such a tool. The whole story is so gross. Like, but the movie is so much more entertaining now that I'm an adult and understand what they're saying and I don't have to like guess, if you know what I mean. I just, I wasn't into it at 14, but at 32, I can appreciate. Then I just marked that I did so many planning things. I did a voiceover, I pulled stickers and did some planning and I marked that with this SPC sticker. And then the final thing with this really cute little bathtub that again is just left over from some sort of kit. Um, I marked that Janet had a little spa day. I brushed her teeth again and clipped her nails and brushed her. Moving on to Thursday, first thing, First thing, once again, with this Once More With Love sticker is work. Then on my break, I walked to USPS to mail a package, um, and I marked that with this Sticky Perks envelope. Then I did some um, editing for the video, um, the game footage that my roommate and I had filmed. So I marked that with this Stella Bow Sticker Co. gaming controller. With a little Once More With Love munchkin, I marked that I started working a little bit on this wooden mini puzzle that I had actually gotten a friend for her birthday, but she finished it and she wanted me to try it. So um, I did that a little bit this day. And then I posted a kit lineup and I marked that with an SPC laptop. I feel like my kit lineups are like not great. I'm going to keep trying to post them, but I don't know. Let me know if it's worth it or not. You you tell me. Um, under that with a Once More With Love little lunch packing sticker, I marked that I was prepping for in office the next day. Um, and then after that, I just walked on the treadmill a little bit. Some movement is better than nothing. And I also read simultaneously, which was a little difficult, but I think I read two chapters and walked for two chapters and marked that with yet another munchkin. And then finally, one more munchkin. I marked that I had insomnia again. Moving on to Friday, I marked that I walked to the office because as I mentioned, I was going in the office on a Friday this week and I used a little munchkin with a backpack. And under that, I marked uh, going home on my break. I like power walked home so I'd get there within the 30 minutes to start work again and marked that with this little rushing emoji from Coffee Monsters Co. I marked just finishing work at home with this little munchkin and their cat because yes, uh, Janet came to sit with me while I finished my last like couple hours. Under that, I marked that I took a nap by accident and used a sticker from the kit to mark that. With this Piper Paper Co. puzzle sticker, I marked that I finished that little wooden puzzle. It was actually pretty tricky because um, it's that type of wooden puzzle that has like animal shapes all mixed into it. Like none of the pieces are normal puzzle pieces, but it was cute. I was very, very hungry this night and I was trying to eat light because I knew we were going to get Pizza Hut. So I was just so hungry and I marked that with this hangry munchkin. Under that with an Olive Studio or Olive Printables or whatever piece of pizza, I marked Pizza Hut, of course. And then the final thing for Friday was that we watched the challenge and an episode of And Just Like That. And I used the Sex in the City TV to mark that. This is also from Sticky Perks. Saturday, the first thing I marked was editing more of that game footage, and I just used this happy emoji at a laptop to mark that. I had to fill my tire because, yeah, I know, I need to get it fixed. It just, it is what it is. And I used a little car from the kit to mark that. Now, I used a tattoo sticker to mark this because I don't have piercing stickers, but I had an appointment to get my piercings swapped out. I I talked about this on Instagram. I went back and forth on like doing it myself or just letting them do it, and I ended up just letting them do it um, just because I wanted it done right, you know? And if I'm spending the money, I'm again, I'm just in like a YOLO phase. And if you know, I, I, <laughs> I was just complaining on Instagram about it, but I, I tipped 20%. So it was even more than they asked you to tip on the website because I'm a wuss. 
so and I am scared to under tip even when I think a tip is ridiculous. So um, yeah, whatever. I tipped like 12 bucks um, on top of the e- earring price on top of the um, the service charge. So it was whatever. It, it is what it is. It's done. And I hope I will not have to get anything changed for a thousand years. Under that, I marked with this little Walmart bag. I can't. I can't remember where this is from. I think it might be SPC. Walmart, of course, was just super packed. It was a Saturday. So yeah, it was a little nutso, but I think we got everything that we needed, specifically Red Bull and cat litter, and then just like a couple of grocery items. And then we came home. And of course, this is when we found out that the neighbor's AC was the one that was leaking into our apartment. And I used this like rolling eye munchkin to mark that. With a Carly Plans suitcase, I marked that I packed for my trip. Even though I wasn't leaving until Monday, I just really wanted it done. I wanted to like thoroughly enjoy my Sunday, you know, my last day of freedom. And then this was probably one of the dumbest things I've ever done. I should have asked my roommate for help, but I don't like asking for help. I took all of my luggage, all of my stuff, my computer, like everything. I took it all in one trip to my car because it was 10 o'clock at night and I was parked really far away. And I was scared to leave things in my car while I walked back to get the rest. It's just, there's so much theft. I just, and I know I'm being like extra, extra paranoid, but I just felt more comfortable taking everything at once. And to say I felt comfortable is is an exaggeration because I've actually never been so nervous to be walking outside my apartment alone before because I had almost everything I own, like all of my expensive shit. And there was barely anybody outside. It was really dark. It was really scary. So obviously everything worked out, but it was, it was not fun. And again, I was not parked close. So it was sort of a little, it was a trek. Um, then moving on to Sunday, the first thing I marked was that Joe and I had to pick up my roommate because I did go to his place. It's a whole thing. Just, he was taking me to the airport. So I wanted all my luggage at his place, just ready to go. Um, but we drove back to my apartment to pick up my roommate and I marked that with an emoji and we picked her up because we were going to a party at my uncle. Um, my uncle is Um, a member at a yacht club and he and his partner invited us for um, their what Labor Day party whatever under that I marked that we stopped at Total Wine because I wanted to pick up a bottle of vodka just because we don't have alcohol anymore really and um, yeah so I marked that with this little screw it munchkin under that with, I think, a Carly Plans Target symbol, I marked that we stopped at Target altogether. Joe had to pick up Pepsi because it was on like some crazy deal. I needed to get a couple more shirts for my trip just because I didn't have enough like plain appropriate shirts to wear. Um, then with a little munchkin in a canoe or a kayak or whatever you want to call it, I marked that we went to the yacht club to the party. And then, um, after that, just in the car on the way back to Philly, we were just having like basically carpool karaoke. So I marked that with a little munchkin holding a music note. And then the final thing for Sunday, I marked that Joe and I started the movie Bones and All, but we did not finish it because I was just too tired. But anyway, that's everything for this plan with me. The next one is my trip. And I have been putting off recording it because it's going to be a doozy. I feel like I'm going to have a day extender on like every single day, but we'll see. We'll see. Maybe I'm wrong. But anyway, thank you so much for watching, especially if you stay to the end and I will see you in the next one. Bye.